Hey, what's going on guys? Today, uh, the 2.2 update for Omega Strikers just came out, and I decided that I was going to go over them, because overall, I already pre-read this. Most of the changes are good. There's one I'm absolutely infuriated about. Well, let's just get to the actual thing. First thing, surrender system. Now you can surrender if you've lost at least two sets in the match, or you have an inactive player. An active uh, is disconnecting from the match, or they haven't inputted anything in 40 seconds and everyone on the team must vote to surrender, not including the inactive player. And you will lose like normal, you lose your normal rank that you would lose normally. Auto match cancel, someone DCs early, the match will be cancelled, and the player that disconnects will be penalized, and will, will um, they'll be penalized, and they'll lose ranking for it. And it also applies to the players in their pre-made groups if they queued with. So if you have a player like go AFK at the beginning of the match, just consider dropping that guy in your trio. Uh, penalties will not be incurred if you or your pre-made member caused an auto-match cancel, and it was the first time within the two weeks. Players above Challenger will no longer be able to enter competitive mode in a pre-made group. They must queue up solo. I think that is really bad. Overwatch has done something like that with their grand, uh, with Grandmasters and Top 500 players, and it's really cringe. I don't know why they can't let people queue together in high ranks. I think that's stupid, but personal opinion. Players that solo queue in any rank will benefit from higher minimum uh, rating gains if they win a uh, match balance out cases where they had to fill in a less than ideal match and the minimum win rate gains to reduce the challenger tier and above. I like the solo queue uh, rank gains. I play solo queue a lot, so it gives me more incentive to actually play it. Then at the Pro League, you need to get 100 points in the Omega tier to be promoted into it. It doesn't mean once you hit 100 points, Omega, you're automatically added to it. I don't really think that makes much sense, but yeah. But there's a hard limit to the amount of players that can be in it. So it's going to be scaled on ranking, so if you're up there, uh, good luck. MVP, uh, there's no longer a multiplayer, mu multiplier, sorry, that'll weigh events more favorably later in the game for the purpose of determining in the endgame MVP, so yeah. All accounts will start with three refund tokens, so you can refund eligible content. Details on how to use them can be found on their support site, so if you bought something you don't like, you want to refund it, go on their support website and figure that out. The only village core speed boost, the things on the bottom of the map, they got a speed buff from 75 to 100. The max core speed, it went from 2000 to 2100. Uh, the night market core speed boost will now grant up to the max more consistently. And the core longer slow down if it's beyond max speed. I think that's on night market or maybe it's both of them, they didn't specify, but that bug's fixed. Practice mode is now finally here. That took forever, but it's finally here. Strikers, Amy. Thank God she got a nerf. This character is plaguing the game. She needs another one to her freaking teleport, but at least she got a ranged nerf to her glitch pop. Asher, they finally fixed her shield, so cor the core will stop going through her shield on her primary. Thank God, I had that happen way too often. They fixed the bug with Era, where casting her secondary with twin drive would not actually apply speed fully. Good change. Bug fix, stagger targets getting hit by the light portion will no longer be able to evade before the final hit. I think that's retarded because how broken Juliet is already, but whatever, it was a bug, they fixed it. Now they see to nerf that so you can still you can still dodge it. Rasmus, I actually really like this change. They had made his uh, death touch when it's on the ground of creation, so you can actually use Monumentalist, the timeless creator, to get benefits out of it. And they uh, buffed the cooldowns, now it's 18 seconds. Now to the part I'm really pissed about because Octavia's already bottom tier character. They nerfed her again for no reason. Increased her cooldown, which that's not really that big of a deal. It's two seconds. It's whatever, right? That's not a big problem. They reduced the base duration, which they've already done once. And they reduced the haste. She isn't that fast until she gets it going for about seven to ten seconds. She has the lowest health in the game. She's AFK without her speed boost, and Awakening Reliant is hell. If you don't have Chrono Boost, Super Surge, Aerials, or Stacks, you're AFK that whole game. You have, your special is terrible. She has arguably the worst special in the game. So the only good part about her is when she can ramp speed, which is easy to counter. And her projectile. Her projectile is good, but that's all she has. So they just made her the worst character in the game. Luna and was slightly worse, but now Octavia is the worst character in the game with that change. I don't even know why I still play the character. Vise. 
Power cord. Uh, recharge time is no longer unintentionally increased to 8 seconds of prime time. Always 7 seconds now, which is good. Bug fix. Centauro. Uh, his secondary, his tele, uh, his dash indicator now shows the full area he'll hit instead of just the location of his dash. So, much more accurate to see where he'll land. Oni's Blade is special. If a single enemy is staggered in the area during the special, they will be knocked back locked until the final hit, so they can't just dodge out of his special, which is good, because his special low-key is mid. And he'll no longer fall off the map in the middle of his special. Thank you, because I have a friend who won Trick Centauro, and I play with him all the time, and a lot of times he's fallen off the map using his special. It's actually kind of crazy. Gear, pummelers. Okay, speed on striker advantage, 15% to 20%. Awakenings, aerials, no longer shows a warning for strikers with mobility abilities. I never saw that as an issue, but I guess that was an issue. Bulk of peak performance, tooltips in game now accurately represent the extra stats given to, for stagger. Prime time, primary ability hits 10% harder, went to 5% harder. That's a good change, prime time was low-key too good. Super Surge. Dash, Blink, Haste, and abilities hit 20% harder to 25% harder. Well, Zentaro got some major buffs this patch, good lord. Well, if Zentaro can get Super Surge, but you always want it. Rotate it out. Adrenaline Rush? That's sad. Stagger Swagger? That's sad. Stinger? Thank God! I hate that Awakening. Unstoppable? and eh, no one really used it. Although it was an underrated Awakening. Rotate it in, so these are the new Awakenings. Sorry. Egoist. Evades refund 5 energy, 15 from energy bursts. Reaching max energy that grants 75% speed for 8 seconds. Reducing to 5% speed while you remain at max energy. That might kind of make up for the Octavia nerfs, but... She's still a terrible character. Catalyst, uh, new, gain 50% more energy from dealing hits, being hits, being hit, sorry, I'm gonna say that again. New, new gain 50% ener more energy from dealing hits, being hit generates 3 energy, 1 for light hits. They are really trying to get into a core flip meta, and I do not like that, core flips are already overpowered. Fire up, new, gain 10 energy on round start. Casting energy burst restores 30% of max energy to other allies and speeds up your whole team by 40% for 5 seconds. Jesus Christ! These are more these are more broken than the orb awakenings. Reverberation new. Gain 250 max stagger and 0.8 cooldown rate per 100 max stagger. I like this one because the max stagger ones, there was not enough of them in the game. So, like, Big Fish, Bulk Up, and uh, Peak Performance are more of a use. I like this Awakening. Bug fixes. Um, the only one in here noticeable is Vise will now, uh, the Supernova on Vise will not display if she dies in her um, special somehow. Even though she's not supposed to be able to die in her special, it happens sometimes. Oh yeah, and uh, Striker ability information, you want to know you can get stuck for controller and gamepad during a match. Have that issue a lot, but if you ever had that issue, all you had to do was pause and unpause the game and it'd go away. Other than that, there are all the uh, uh, balance changes, including the really horrible ones for a character that was bottom tier already. Um, yeah, so that's 2.2. Uh, get in there, try out that practice mode, try out all the new balance changes, and rip Octavia, they killed the character. Goodbye, see you next video.